Where is everybody? Hey, anyone here? We need help. The one time we want people here and the damn place is empty. We'll just have to find the radio ourselves. Scout? Oh, sorry. I scanned for the radio. Scout? Are you okay? Maybe that bullet did more damage than I thought. I, I'm fine commencing scan. I am using a little bit to give me an idea of what the actual surrounding is of this. Just make it a little bit easier and just get through these a little bit quicker. Do this. So that's a blank, that's got two, that's got four, that's got three, that's got three, that's got two, two, blank, blank on that side. That's blank, but that is a three. That's line's done. That's a two, that's a one, that's got five. That was a gas, but okay. Blank. 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 <laughs> Blank. And then this one's got four. That's got two. That's a blank. That's got two. That's got two. And they're both blanks. I see it makes it a slightly bit easier, so that's a blank either way. Um, that's got to be a three. Makes that, that's got to be a three as well. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It's two. Got to be a three. Got to be a two. Got to be a three. Got to be five. That's gonna be a two. That's gonna be blind then. Two. Blank. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's a one. That would bring that blind two. That's gonna be a seven. Four, five, six, seven. There we go. One's done. Uh, that's a blank. Could be one, two, six. That's done. Could be four. There we go. That's three. And that's a three. And that's blank, no matter what.
You know, I like doing it that way. It makes things so much easier. Let's see how this one. We are not. Okay. Still a bee. Here on on a uh, all units. There's uh, well, I don't know the code, but there's an officer under fire at twelve forty Veriden Drive. He needs backup now. Who is this? I'm a uh, just. Ma'am, these frequencies are not for civilian use. How did you? I don't care. You have to help him. Officers are on the way, ma'am. They'll be here in two minutes. Thank God for that. Come on, Scout. We need to get back to Crispin's place. Oh, no, we should at least wait until the police clear the scene. <sighs> Great, you again. Oh, hi, uh... What an interesting robo friend you've got there. I am Scout. Huh? It does seem to be working quite right. Let me take a look. Turn around for a second. Wait, what are you doing? How's that? Much better. Good. It's only temporary, though. You need to get patched up properly. Thank you, mister. Call me Jack. I have a lot of questions. My apologies. I should have introduced myself. So, who are you? My name is Jack Lawson. I'm CEO of Leaf Security. Leaf, wait. I've heard that name before. Leaf Security is a company that Frank Pritchell Tully worked for. It's regrettable that Leaf is associated with such a nasty business, but I'm hoping to straighten things out. So, what are you doing here at the station? Afraid I can't disclose that in to him uninvolved third parties. I hope you understand. It's because Ryan says he hired Leaf to intimidate Blake Patterson. I guess you're not quite as uninvolved as I thought. Yes, I'm challenging Mr. Blackstock's false allegations. I see you're familiar with my wayward ex-husband. Your ex- Wait, how interesting. I had no idea. So what's your defense? Has Ryan lied about hiring Frank through Leaf? Yes and... No, we did hire one of our operatives to survey, uh, survey Mr. Patterson, but that's where our involvement ends. Intimidation and the unfortunate death of Mr. Patterson was nothing to do with us. We'll never agree to such a request. I see, that's very convenient. The truth sometimes is... I just haven't much. How do you know so much about Scout? I don't, specifically at least. I used to work at a company that was involved in robotics. It's lucky you were here, I guess. But what did you mean about the repair being temporary? I don't have the tools here, so it was just a quick fix. If you let me take Scout back to my office, I could... Now's not a good time, and I don't know if I can trust you. I need to go. I'm running late for a meeting. The office stands. If you change your mind, here, take this. As always, let's do the edges. Six. That's blank. Do five. Four. Three. Three. Two. 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 Five. Thank 
this at the moment. Don't. Don't. Then this is 12. Blank. Blank. There we go. So. Where do we begin? <laughs> So we know that's got to be free. That's blank, blank, that's blank. That's got to be blank. That can't be that, so that's got to be two, that's got to be three. That's what I say. Um, so that's got to be there and blank. That's got to be three then. Is there blank? What's that? Blank. Be a card, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not. Well, that's a fancy business card. Sky exhibits any more strange behavior, give me a call. Day or night, I'll get him fixed up. Oh, no. I am unsure what to make of him. Me too, Scout. Me too. Oh, I completely forgot what you said. You remembered something new. Did you want to tell me about it? I can wait. Really? Okay, if you're sure. Let's go back to Detective Cross. The situation at Christmas Department is most likely under control by now. All right, we can talk about your new memories later. Let's go. I can I tell her that? I, I. You're a murderer. You're a murderer, you little robot. Okay, Yana. It depends the area is safe. Detective Cross, you okay? That's a close one, huh? Close one. Close one! Do you have any idea of the amount of danger you were in? This is exactly what I've been trying to avoid. Yeah, but no, I'm not done. You're going to listen to me for once. You and that can opener have ignored my instructions time and time again. You're so certain that you know best, aren't you? You've got talent on her. I recognize that back when we first met and it scared the hell out of me. I tried to make you reconsider, but you're just, you're too stubborn. So I figured maybe on this case, I could at least teach you some proper procedure, but I don't have to be bound by procedure. Crispin was a potential danger, so I took action. I used to think that way too, right up until I watched your dad bleed to death in front of me. What? Joshua was hot-headed too, just like you, and I was desperate to prove myself whatever it took to a deadly combination. I started as a routine traffic stop, but the guy ran. We chased after him, cornered him in an alley. It was a dead end and we couldn't see a damn thing. We should have stayed put and called for backup. But like you said, the guy was dangerous. 
so we took action and well you know what happened Crispin started shooting today it was I seen Joshua die all over again I'm sorry detective I'm not my dad no you're not you're also belligerent which I think you get from your mother I had to learn those lessons the hard way but you have a chance to avoid making the same mistakes you can be better and that means realizing when someone is looking out for you and listening to them you're right I'm sorry I was so eager to prove myself I I was reckless I put you in danger but I want you to be able to trust me detective and I know trust has to be earned so I learned the procedures and when things get dangerous I'll follow your lead I promise me too. Guess that's all I can ask for. And as it happens, I need your help, Scout. Of course. What do you need? Well, Crispin is going away for a long time for shooting at us, but he swears he didn't kill Oliver Laurel. He's lying. The parade for it was stolen from the parking lot next to his apartment. Says he was home all night. If that's true, there's no way he could have crashed a float into a club. Is someone to back up his story? Not someone, but something. Take a look, Scout. As always, let's do the up, up, bumps. Oh, too many. Three, five. Yeah, one, two. Two. And then, and then one, two. That. And so, do it from the top downward. Might be easier. There we go. Not much space this time, but right. nothing. Just blank, just blank, two. That's two. That's two. Need that. Wait a minute. There we go. Two blank, 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 two blank. Two blank, 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 two, four. That, so let's go up there. Let's up to warmth up here. It's irritating me. <laughs> That's got to be a two anyway. Um, one, one, one. Well, that's done. Hmm. 
That's definitely there, that's definitely there. They could be blanked out. Ten with those. Fob. Small plastic disc. I do not understand the relevance. Kind of looks like a key fob. This building has some kind of fancy security system. Apparently, it remembers when someone goes in or out. See, would you like me to access the logs for last night? Yes, that's exactly what I'd like. Sure thing. Give me a moment to interface with the reader. There we go. Five. That's gonna be there. That's a three. Um. Uh, oh wow. Um. That's gonna be a one. That's gonna be there then. That's a two. There are twos. A five. A four. A three. Two twos, a three, a three, a two, a two, a one, two, three, that's a five, that means that's a four, that's a three, that's gonna be a one, that's gonna be that, that's a one. Hold up. To match a handshake protocol in time. So it's going to give it another try. Yes, if it's necessary, try, try again. Try, try again.
get hacked quite quickly this time. Stereo keypad systems are linked to a server or ser a central server. The logs of last night say Christian entered his apartment at 9.14 p.m. They did not leave till 8.29 this morning, several hours after the crash. Seems he is telling the truth. He proved he could not have stolen the parade float last night. The proves he didn't use the door. Maybe he climbed out the window. On the sixth floor, the alibi is solid honor. It's strange. The building logs also show someone rang Crispin's doorbell in the early hours of the morning. I was trying to talk to him. Did he answer? It does not log that specifically, but the door was not unlocked. So what do we do now? Both Ros and Crispin have alibis. Are they really all the way back at square one? I wouldn't be a disappointed on Proving a hypothesis wrong is another step towards the truth. There's Tim Potts right. Besides, it doesn't always mean going back to square one. Pull a trail back to the facts you know to be true and strike out a different direction. What about Fran? We know she's been having money troubles. We know that she went to Crispin, but was having difficulty repaying the loan. And we know Oliver was causing her to lose business. Don't want to think it, but maybe she was behind it all along. Don't go touch the suspects, Hannah. Uh, it's uh, only come back to bite you in the ass. Trust me on that. It's not me I'm worried about. Back to Magellan's bar.